Hi, so this is a quick screencast that explains how I do the individualized feedback mail merges um, that you guys have received. So I start off with a Google spreadsheet and in the spreadsheet, I've got all the information that I want to include in an email, including scores, comments, videos. I don't have any comments in this one particularly, um, but you can put individualized comments. So as I'm watching the videos on the real data set, I'm actually writing in comments here that you will see when I send out this message. But I thought it was probably a better idea to not show you the real uh, information. Anyhow, all of your spreadsheet columns have a title, have a column name. So you got to keep that in mind. So that's the first thing, have your data set. Second thing is create a template in Gmail. And so you'll notice that I can insert fields from the spreadsheet by using the double angle brackets. So that would be a field. Now the field names have to match exactly. So first name here is capitalized in both first and uh, first and second word. You have to follow that exactly because it's a computer, it's dumb. It will only do what you tell it to do. And so if it doesn't match, it doesn't know what to do. And so you create your whole spreadsheet. So let me jump down to this section. And so this is where, you know, it's got all the individual scores. You, you just write up whatever you're gonna write up. And um, anyhow, so now you've got your template. Jump back over to here. So step one, data set. Step two, template. Step three, using an add-on called yet another mail merge. So I'm going to start the mail merge. And I've been using this add-on for quite a long time. It's very handy. There's lots of ins and outs and tips and tricks and things you can do. Um, but I'm just going to show you the basics. So you pick a template. I have lots of templates. Um, just on a side note, you save your email. Well, it saves as a draft automatically. And so you're not actually sending this message. Anyhow, let's go back here. Whoops, it didn't like it when I changed screens. So let's open it up again. Loading yet another mail merge. It's going to load all the templates. This happens to be the subject line for the template that I selected. Um, if you wanted, like I have a ton of templates, right? If there's some that you really use all the time, you can star them in your email and that appears first on the list. And it's going to confirm that your email addresses are in column E, which they are. If they're not, you can change that. You have to make sure it knows what column the emails are in. And then receive a test email. And what it will do on the test email is it will send that with whatever's in the first line. So here's our test email. It comes through pretty quick, actually. And so quick update for Veruca Salt. You can, hey, hey there, you can come down and look. Um, it seems like all the scores are in place. This is where you want to read through it very carefully, just in case. All right, let's go back here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit send. That looked good. We'll hit send. I happen to send them all. All these people have the same email address that I do. Yeah, so I'm going to get a lot of emails. Well, I'll get seven. All right. I want to hit refresh. There they are. Boom, right there. And um, I don't know, this just seems to work out really nice and easily. And I can scan through. And if you look up at the top, it's got all the names, you know, are correct. And so that's how I use yet another mail merge. Um, one feature, let me show you, is it does tracking. I probably shouldn't have opened all six because now it's going to show you that all six opened. It'll do some tracking on there. It'll let you know when they opened, when somebody responded. Let me try that. Um, so when I send that, if I refresh the tracking report, let me add on. Oh, see, it's already showing down there, responded. Thank you, John Galt. Who is John Galt, by the way? Anyhow, showing that he responded, it'll show anything that bounced all kinds of different details. It's pretty nifty. I like it. I use it for all sorts of things. And so that's the magic behind my individualized emails. I use this for um, rubrics. I'll put in all the rubric points, you know, all the rubric pieces as columns and I'll grade everything and fill it in that way. Um, I don't know if you can do this in Canvas and Outlook, I'm not sure. 
if there's a feature for that. I've just found it super easy to use this because then I can, like I said, fill in comments and give individualized feedback to students literally at the click of a mouse. So I'm gonna be typing it anyhow and this way they get it also. I hope that was helpful.